Our planet, Earth, is a unique planet. It is the home of living beings. It is covered with land and water, masses on its surface. The surface of the Earth is slightly bulging at the equator and flat at the poles. It is easy to locate any surface on Earth as it appears flat. But the Earth is round like a ball. The different parts of the Earth can be viewed on a globe. When we look at the globe, there are number of lines on it. These lines are of two types, latitudes and longitudes. These lines help us to locate a place on the Earth. The point on the north where these lines join is called as North Pole and the point on the south is called as South Pole. What is the importance of these lines? Let us learn in detail. Locating places on the Earth Latitudes The equator is an imaginary line that is drawn halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. The world is divided into two halves or hemisphere by the equator. The portion that is from the equator to the North Pole is called as Northern Hemisphere and the portion that is present to the South is called as Southern Hemisphere. The imaginary lines which are drawn parallel to the equator is called as parallel lines or lines of latitude. The equator is the largest parallel. The parallels are kept at an equal distance and they don't touch each other. There are four important parallels or latitudes apart from the equator. 1. The Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degree north. 2. The Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degree south. 3. The Arctic Circle at 66.5 degree north. 4. The Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees south. Properties of latitudes. A. The equator is the largest latitude and called as great circle. B. They cannot touch or cut each other. C. There are total of 181 latitudes. D. All latitudes are located at an equal distance from each other. E. All latitudes are complete circles. F. Latitudes are marked in degrees and minutes where 60 minutes is equal to 1. Longitudes The lines that run from north to south on the globe are called as lines of longitudes or meridians. The longitudes are of equal length unlike latitudes and are 360 degree in number. This arose difficulty and was difficult to number them due to equal length. Thus, meridian passing through Greenwich near London is taken as zero meridian. This is also called as prime meridian. Meridian means midday and therefore meridian of longitude joins at the places that have midday at the same time. The longitudes don't run parallel to each other. The two longitudes meet at two ends. They are far at the equator and the gap decreases as we move towards the poles where they meet. A meridian can be defined as a circle of constant longitude passing through a given place on the Earth's surface and the terrestrial plane. The length of all the meridians is the same as each one in a semicircle. The distance between any two meridians decreases as we go away from the equator towards the poles. All meridians meet at the poles. There are 180 degree meridians. India is located to the east of the prime meridian. Properties of longitudes 
A. All longitudes are of equal length. B. It is an angle measured in degrees with reference to the equator of the earth towards north or south. C. Longitude is given as an angular measurement ranging from 0 degree prime meridian to plus 180 degree eastward and minus 180 degree westward. D. The distance between any two longitudes decreases as one moves away from the equator towards the pole. The 180 degree is called as the international date line.